it, it really works out for me because I think the cattle stay in a little better shape. I don't have to put as much feed to them all winter. Um, I can maintain them a little easier. I can get them out grazing. I can meet some of my grass goals of knocking back cool season grasses. And I can have, you know, healthy calves on green grass. It, it just really works for me and my operation. It's a little less stress on everybody for sure because we typically don't have blizzards in May. I think it works well timing it with nature. So originally I had always calved on the 1st of April and uh, with, with that being said you'd always get a few calves at the, in the last part of March. We started always started calving by the 1st of March. I don't have great infrastructure to calve in, in March or April or February so uh, and nor do I want to put a lot of money into into that sort of stuff. Growing up here we yeah we calved heifers and you check cows and heifers in the middle of the night and you you know, before school and your know, dad would bring in chilled calves down to the basement where you give them a shower and blow dry them at two in the morning. Really, it wasn't until probably 2018, we had a pretty severe April blizzard and then one in 2019 as well. And Had a real bad winter one time, it was really cold and, and first of March coming, it was like 20 below for 10 days. And, and then you get 12 inches of snow on the 15th of April. That was kind of the last straw for me, and uh, pushing it back two weeks wasn't a big deal. 14 years ago, Bob and I got married, and we were still calving heifers in February or the 10th of March, and then cows start 15th or 20th of March. Um, he said, why don't we push this back? We're killing ourselves to, to save a few calves, and you can't sell dead ones. Just said had to do something different, so went to May. Uh, so April 23rd is what we shoot for now. And this year I started, I think, on the 3rd of May calving. So, um, and it was a pretty cool year this year. So we had pretty slow grass growth early and uh, it's coming along now. Since I calve later, I can, you know, if the weather allows, I can bring my cattle to pasture a little earlier, right? Because I'm not moving, you know, baby calves in a stock trailer, you know, from my home place to here. So actually I get cattle out before they calve, which is nice because there's always a flush of cool season invasive grasses, uh, Burholm and Kentucky bluegrass, and they do well on it early in the year. And if I suppress it early in the spring, I can try to promote my native grasses to come through later in the, in the early summer to midsummer uh, when the warm season grasses start to grow. Um, but it, it really is a nice way to get some early season grazing and you know and put those cows in good condition to to calve successfully on their own typically we have a few calving pastures we work through in in the spring um, we're on our second one now we've been here for a week and uh, we'll just essentially keep moving kind of as as needed depending on how fast they end up calving out when we're done calving, they'll, they'll actually get joined up with another herd of custom heifers and uh, be run as all one herd. Uh, but we're just kind of waiting to be done calving. Well, this year was a, we weren't close to a barn at all. We were, you know, four miles away from the closest barn. So we just set up a tub next to a corral. Had a few that we had to get in, but otherwise they calve a lot better on their own when the weather's nicer too. We have longer probably longer rotation where we don't move quite as often with the newborns and the babies. But the other thing is we just don't move as far. Taking the time to make sure everybody's paired up before you move them, uh, especially if you're going to move them any distance, uh, is really important because it's, it's hard to find baby calves sometimes when they're really little and leaving one behind isn't fun. And, and uh, so I think it's close moves and longer uh, probably a little bit bigger paddocks. Uh, uh, that's what we do right now. What we're looking for in a bull and its traits, uh, we, you know, if I was going to keep my replacement heifers, I wanted a little smaller frame animal that would perform maybe a little better on grass. Uh, that's really all we've really tried to do. I'm okay with some smaller birth weight calves when you have them in the spring. It's a little easier on everybody. I, I really don't like pulling calves. It's hard on the cows. 
you know, we've been pretty fortunate. We haven't had to pull hardly any in the, in the time that I've owned cattle, uh, twice I think in 10 years. The, it's really important for me just to have a, an alive, healthy calf. The calves are in good condition. Uh, they're born on green grass. We get better at that as we rotate a little, a little better. Uh, we're not treating as many animals. Last year, I don't think I treated any pink eye. I'd say generally we've saved money by doing it this way, especially, you know, not having sick calves in March or April. Um, they're always seem pretty healthy. We don't really have to do much to the calves after they're born. It's been pretty smooth that way. When we backed off calving, we were, I think, 14 pounds back on the heifers and, and uh, nine pounds back on the steers, I believe. The calves just hit the ground and they start growing instead of fighting for their lives and putting all their energy from the colostrum and the mama's milk to staying alive and staying warm. They're actually, actually growing. So, no, they catch up pretty fast. Well, the, the major changes I've seen uh, moving back, I've had calves in blizzards and it's just not enjoyable for anybody but the stress on me uh, and my family and, and trying to calve in April you know, always has its challenges. So the lower stress, I think, is probably one of the main ones. I go to bed, I want to go to bed and sleep. And the thing with May calving on grass, and I don't know why, I've asked a lot of people, nobody can give me an answer, but most of them calves are born like five to seven o'clock in the morning. There's no, calving during the middle of the night is like as opposed to when you got got them shut up in lots and stuff and so um if it wasn't for may calving and calving my three-year-olds i wouldn't i wouldn't have cattle today because i couldn't do it you know you can tell people and people can ask you about it but till you really experience it you don't realize how it changes your workload it just seems like everything's happier, you know, people and cattle and, and the grass. So it's kind of a win-win-win. The second thing I really enjoy is being out on the prairie early in the spring. So you're, you're kind of in a little more touch with nature because you're checking them every day on the pasture. You're keeping an eye on how they're performing and, and what they're targeting in the pasture. and and monitoring your grass and, and how it's holding up. So I think it's just, it's really hands-on because you're forced to be with the cattle early in the spring. They're out and about doing their thing, so you, you have to be right there with them. You know, guys will say uh, about calving, are you calving? Something, I said, well, I, I said, how many fawns you got at your place? Well, they look at you like you're a dummy. Well, I ain't got any. You know, it's too early for fawn. I said, yep, that's right. I said, you better be doing what Mother Nature's doing. I said, she's been here a lot longer than you have, and I said, she's got it figured out that you ain't out there in the wintertime and doing all them things. You got to look at the big picture. My idea of the big picture is what Mother Nature does and intends for us to do. You, you got to have, you got to look at that picture, in my opinion, in order to make it work. My saying is, you can fight Mother Nature, and you can win a few battles, but she's going to win the war. And so if you want to be here for a long time, you better be doing what she intended us to be doing. Well, I highly recommend uh, moving it back a little bit. It it's, it's works well for me. It, it might not for everybody. Um, but if you're looking to get started in maybe running cattle and, and don't have a lot of infrastructure or you know, just all the things that you may need for earlier calving, this is a great way to do it. I mean, it's, it's relatively low cost. I mean, you, you get your cow, cows bred for early May and, and you can most years have them out on pasture by then and, and you don't have to have a lot of money tied up in infrastructure you may only use for a small amount of time. So I'd say that'd be a good way to get started. So it, it just works out. Uh, I'm gonna keep it that way. I don't see any reason why I'd go back. Thank you.